Hello, Tauruses. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is your second half of July 2018 love and or romance reading, depending on what spirit has to say. So we're pulling one card from this entire deck from the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild. And I'm going to ask spirit to please provide us with an overall message regarding today's reading for Tauruses, please, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels. Representing the second half of July. Okay, right away I feel like there are energies of trying to control, trying to figure out, trying to get the answers, trying to almost even manipulate. So I don't know if someone's trying to manipulate you or your circumstances or vice versa. The card you guys received is called Falling. So one plus four is five. Five to me is about... Uh, worry. Now worry does nothing but keep us stuck, right? So what we need to do is hand our worries to spirit and ask for spirit to please bless us with so and so and such and such. So we now have information for spirit to work with when it comes to manifestation in your life. So the falling card in the book to give credit to the author as well says, if you wait any longer, this moment will be lost and you'll end up on the ground having to decay and to go to seed in order to start the whole process again. This is not so bad, but what a shame if your sweet nectar was not to be savored by a hungry world. You deserve to be declared the most delicious juicy fruit that ever was so fall. You'll end up exactly where you are meant to be. You're being called closer into divine union and into the fulfillment of your destiny right now. It's safe for you to trust what is happening at this time. Go with it. It might seem like you're being asked to take a leap of faith. It might, it's the right timing for that. It, it's your time to give yourself in love without holding back any part of yourself. Is it wrong to love, to feel what I hold inside? The answer must wait. But why? This is a very uh, spiritual time for this particular Taurus energy that I'm reading for this general message. And thank you for those of you who clarify that this is indeed your reading. Somebody wants to shine brightly. They feel like they've received a lot of communication, but they can't make a decision due to some sort of burden. It's like the burden is the waiting on a message, a text, communications of sorts so that they can find clarity, they can do research, but they know that, that something has to come to an end in its own time in order for them to move forward. And the reason you're being slowed down is spirit is protecting Taurus, whomever this is, is from a snake energy. Somebody who is, I think this is like your own desire to do something naughty and changing up something within because a seven on that card is a very spiritual time of making what feels like very challenging decisions because it's not what you normally would have done when it comes to a decision. In other words, you stop and you figure things out first. So before you, I filmed the video, I pulled a card for you guys from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed You received the Ice Queen, which is number 28. Two plus eight is 10. 10 is one plus zero. This path is all about you at this time. Like I said, a spiritual transformation. So preserve your ideas and do not take any action. Watch for the energies of entitlement for the end, second half of July, 2018. The Ice Queen has come to block your movement for your highest good. Let your ideas be preserved until later. You can thaw them out and use them at another time when they will best serve. It's a place of non-action, a perfect time to take a look at how far you've come and to ask yourself for re-clarification re of your highest goals. Not all your plans can be accomplished at this time in this moment. In fact, putting them on ice allows for the perfect timing later on to take place in your life. Do not be too hasty in trying to reach a goal. An even better one will present itself to you if you surrender and spend the winter with the Ice Queen. Perhaps you're trying to do too many things at once. This is a good occasion to choose only one thing and to focus on that and let the Ice Queen put the others in the deep freeze until a more appropriate time and she'll let you know when that time comes. Everything is 
wait a minute, life incarnate is short. When you transition, when you transition, you take nothing with you from the material world. The Ice Queen calls upon you to release your hold on your relationships, your belongings, your home, and all aspects of your life and let life flow as it will. Everything is impermanent. Once you recognize that, everything is seen as a living miracle that it really is, and you won't be frozen into self-induced limitations. It's time to let go of ownership in general and be grateful for and enjoy what you have been gifted with up to this point in your life. So now is the time to just really take some time to pray to spirit and give thanks for all the blessings in your life. Do not see others or decisions or directions as a burden. Focus with the messages that are coming to you in the next couple few weeks because you're going to receive a lot of good attention. You're going to start to feel better because you're starting to do some research on what part of your path, maybe walking in your shadow side, making incorrect decisions, you're going to let come full circle and you're going to research a better future for yourself by dropping energies and, and making some new challenging decisions when it comes to your spiritual walk. I hope that makes sense, but I'm going to bring it hopefully to more clarity here in a circle spread. So I'm using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed and starting off with Spirit saying, breathe in and out slowly. Breathe in for five, hold for eight, blow out for 11. It's called the 5811. Do it about three, four times and center yourself because there, you seem to have different viewpoints on a path ahead. And that's where the burden lies. It's like waiting for messages, trying to get clarity, but even though you're receiving ten attention or affection or recognition, uh, there's still cloudiness. There's still more to learn. And I think it has to do with bringing a spiritual walk within you that you're learning about yourself to a close so that you can move into bigger, better, and more in your life. So I feel like in the next week or so from watching the video, you Tauruses are going to actually feel this change in the wind. And that spirit's helping for you to co-create bigger, better, more in your life by connecting with other people. Be careful who you choose to co-create with in the next couple weeks because you have the owl energies. This is you, your knowledge and experience. And the decision to either partner with this cougar or leopard or let the leopard devour you. So taking your time to think about who you can co-create with. You guys want to offer so much of your heart and your soul and your energy to others. But again, Spirit's saying, slow down, breathe slowly, and think about who you should co-create with and who you should not. In the meantime, you have the clean it up energies to let go of negativity in your path. No longer will I allow negative people, places, circumstances, situations, and environments in my path. I will only allow positivity. Knowing that as I take positive action, as I breathe, as I recognize this change in my life, that Spirit is bringing me a wonderful, beautiful, blessed gift on the back of this magical tortoise. So in my emotional aspects position, the Taurus says, you guys have the happy, happy energies. This egg represents your goals and intentions, happy goals and happy intentions, knowing that spirit is going to offer you the key to success. As you go out, keep your space clean of negative energies, people, places, circumstances, situations, and environments, and co-create only with those who will support you in your future. Subconsciously, go the distance when it comes to opening your heart. Because in your practical day-to-day -day matters position, you will be blessed with a soulmate connection. This could be a friend, a special person in your life after you start to get rid of negativity in your life. And in your inner strengths position, you have the building blocks energies to build something brand new. Bigger, better, more successful with an organization, a business, your own small business, a creative project, hobby, gift, talent, or skill. It could just be working with your soul that's within you, your connection to spirit to manifest a better path ahead in general, however that applies to you. So in a three-card summary to my right with the same wisdom of the Oracle deck, it's time to really stop and think for a while in the next week and a half or so, understanding that someone or something is no longer for you. You're being slowed down with the TikTok energy so that spirit can 
work and bring the divine into your future because at some point there is going to come a time where you're going to come to a fork in the road. Know that your higher power is with you, helping for you to be very strong, helping you to do things by the book in a correct way. To still offer your loyal heart, even if you've been burnt, you're being reborn. Truth be told, you may have reflected people in a path in the past, but you are no longer that person. You've now manifested this owl representing your knowledge and experience. Therefore, you can take this new mask, fly into a new path, give thanks to the path you were on and get excited to come to the edge and look for a new direction. There is no place like home You're with your family and your friends. Recognize your tribe. Take some time to rest. And when your cup feels empty, pray to spirit and watch for the serendipity of things. Fill that cup with only positive things, remember, because chaos and conflict is going to test you somehow. Remember, speak your truth and say, I'm cleaning my path of negative energies. And if you have anything negative that you're bringing my way, it's not allowed any longer. I'm finding peace in my path as I am mending from the past. So in the outcome position, Tauruses, by the end of July into August 2018, as you plant new seeds, remain flexible so that you can work through this never-ending story energies of will I, won't I, will they, won't they, should I, shouldn't I. Pray to spirit and meditate about new and exciting directions so spirit can help blow you into the direction by which you are led to walk. Spirit is here, meaning someone who's passed before you, your spirit guides, angels, and the dear Lord in heaven helping to give you a leg up so that you don't repeat old patterns and cycles. Listen to your third eye. Listen to the messages. Pay attention to your intuition. A blessing will come, and you're going to have a deep knowing that this is a blessing from maybe someone who passed, a special message, a sign, and it's your imagination that's going to help you to get back in balance. You guys may be tested. You're leaving something behind, whether it's a bad uh, friend, a bad habit, and it, it, it's going to come back and test you. But when you pass this test, there is a blessing here of a soulmate connection, which means many, many better things in your future ahead. And it's all tied up in this beautiful treasure island energy in your actions position. So you finding the correct path for yourself. That is the blessed path, the right path, the fulfilling path, right? So to clarify, I'm going to pull one card from the Daily Guidance from Your Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. Tauruses, please, second half of July 2018 to clarify the circle spread in front of us. Yeah, so Spirit's saying, ask us. We're here to guide you. We're here to protect you. We're here to lead you to the greatest happiness. We are meant to walk this earth with great happiness and joy and contentment and fulfillment every day of our life. So ask spirit to assist you when it comes to finding that. Ask us to help you with the situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is free will that allows you to make your own choices and your own decisions. So we will patiently await your request. If you become tested, know that spirit is here to help you to remain strong in your path ahead. I feel like I need to clarify just a little bit more. I'm going to bring in some spiritual guidance here for Tauruses when it comes to the energies here. Open your heart and breathe. Go the distance for your future. Pay attention to the signs and the gifts will come. There will be a fork in the road and your higher power is helping you to find peace and to mend from what was. Yes, they're saying it's about remaining loyal to your path now on into your future. Standing strong by the gift that you are to this earth from the heavens. Co-creating. Be careful of that leopard that you may want to co-create with in your thoughts. Because it will devour you. Spirit's suggestion is to let go. There will be new soulmates, and you must know that. So in your relationship sector, it's time to become invisible, to look into that golden mirror, to reflect that happy little sweet child within, and to share that child with everyone in your life. Be open to just love 
and don't worry about passion. Passion will come. In your creative aspects position of the next couple weeks from watching the video, Tauruses, Spirit saying, clean up. Connections that especially are not healthy for you, that have negativity attached to them. Now, it could be that you're just looking at a situation negatively because someone that you're connected with just doesn't see the connection in the same way that you do. So you're getting a little huffy and puffy about that, right? It's becoming a burden because you want something the way you want it. And Spirit's saying, clean it up. It's got to go. You can now summon in this beautiful treasure in your life if you remain loyal to what is best for you. Plant happy and exciting goals and intentions for yourself. And as you follow this new path, these new goals and intentions, Spirit's going to give you the key to be free from some sort of denial. Don't forget what this lesson taught you as you went the distance to breathe and to open yourself to a change in the wind. And in maybe the next four to six weeks, and I know that's further out than what the video is meant to cover. It's just what I'm feeling and hearing. Someone here could be taking a risk in a brand new direction. But again, I keep feeling snake energies. Thank you, Spirit, and this is why. Just as you're building and manifesting great things and taking treasure and all that you've learned and letting go of the things that no longer fulfill you, be careful of taking a risk too quickly because there is a beautiful rose here. It's attractive. But it does have thorns. Continue to focus on the building blocks, energies, and spirits. Going to give you the strength to make sure you're being clear about what it is you're summoning into your path. When it comes to a fork in the road, lean on your self worth. You guys have been down a long path, and now you need to be clear about what you're focused on. Even if you have to be a little harsh to others, you need to mend and find peace and push the negative aside. In your future, meditate, and a message will come. <clears throat> And you will be able to free yourself. Spirit's suggestion is that you focus on it, your individuality. And what cre what why you were sent here to this earth. What is your sole purpose? What is your talent, your skill, your hobby, your gifts, your ability to help raise money for charity? This is what you are to focus on in August 2018. Especially starting out in August or as soon as possible. See, there's old cycles and patterns here that have got to be recognized because you cannot heal something until you recognize what it is that is causing chaos in your life. All right. This is about moving forward independently on your own towards your own goals and intentions. Giving thanks to the path by which you belong, that you have found yourself in here on earth. Facing your fears to walk your path in a new direction that will bring you great confidence. And this is when your wishes will come true. So if you're single, you're pushing past the kind of people you would have chosen in the past, know that a soulmate will come. But there will be a test here before the soulmate comes. Because spirit doesn't want to bring a soulmate in if you're not ready. So meditate, keep your heart open, pay attention to the serendipity of the messages of those around you. Do not make a quick decision. In fact, wait maybe till September. It may even be in September. Four weeks. Well, maybe mid-August when you guys finally know who you're not wanting in your life and the type of person you are. For those of you who are looking for a business direction, Something has gone full circle. You are going to receive recognition. Follow the direction of that recognition, and you will find the clarity you need through some sort of research or communication. Uh, but there also is a snake there, like I said, so be careful who you uh, communicate with. Some of you are bringing an end to a connection with a snake energy, somebody who is dishonest, sometimes seductive in some way, but uh, not a, a truthful person. And so you're leaving that path behind, and I think somebody here is glad to do so. You're heading towards uh, a new business, bigger, better opportunity somewhere uh, after you've done the research. And I think that also has something to do with what this treasure is. So the work you put into positive things in your life right now, Taurus, is 
is what your blessings will be tenfold on the other side. Watch out for those snakes. Some things have to end. Do your research and step into eventually, sometime in August, the proper direction. Whether it has to do with love or money, the gifts are on their way if you make the right choices. From now, mid-July to the beginning of August 2018. If you'd like me to pull your personal energies, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. The prices are listed below, and for the summer, I am offering a 15-minute reading for $25. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, Taurus, and God bless.